How y'all doing? Well, it's Friday. America's uh, surprise drug test day. <laughs> y'all had fun yesterday. They're going to catch you today. Watch that stuff now. Anyway, having a bright, nice day up here. And uh, going to enjoy my Friday. Get ready for this weekend. So what's happening today? Well, lots of things are always going on in the news. The same where uh, the budget director, old Mulvaney, Trump's budget director, he come out and he's uh, arguing about the budget that's going to be proposed pretty soon. And he reminded everybody that, uh, you know, elections have consequences. No shit, asshole. You're one of them. Anyway, he's talking about getting the budget through and the Republicans, well, the Republicans want that wall in there. They want $1.4 billion for that wall that, you know, Mexico's going to pay for. Ain't that some shit? I don't think so. I don't think Mexico's going to pay for it. Guess who's going to pay for it? Yeah, you got, y'all going to pay for it. We're going to pay for it. He's just doing this little dance out there so, uh, so he keeps his campaign promise. You know, all that lying shit he did during the campaign. But there's a problem there. The Democrats, uh, well, they want a provision in the budget that guarantees the payments to the uh, Affordable Care Act for lower-income families. Remember, we was talking the other day about this. That's his plan to ruin the ACA. That's his plan to make you suffer as much as he can so you'll go beg to Donald to help him. So uh, the Democrats want that in there, guaranteed that the, those payments will be made, and the Republicans are balking on that shit. Ah, go figure. Ain't that some shit. Anyway, if they don't get this budget passed, they're looking at a shutdown next week. We'll see what happens, baby. See how much clout old Donald dickface carries up there in the Congress. Anyway, what's old uh, President Boss tweet out doing now? He's tweeting about complaining about the holding him to a, a ridiculous standard on the first hundred days. Yeah, a ridiculous standard, that's what he's calling it. Now, mind you, all during the election process there, he was spouting up, build the wall, repl re re uh, replace Obamacare, repeal and replace, on the same day, and all that stuff, middle class tax relief, we're going to give you that in the first hundred days, the Muslim ban, the health care, all within a, he, a zis boom ba, and he ain't gave you squat, because he's a liar. And all of that bullshit that he sold during the campaign was just that. A bunch of lies and idiots believed it. That's what idiots do. Idiots just believe anything the boss tweets out. If he tweets out something, oh, Donnie Tic Tac, it must be the truth. You know, must be gospel. He's a liar. He's been a liar ever since he was born, I think. His whole life has been nothing but lie this, lie that. He's the fraud of Fifth Avenue. That's all that man is. Anyway, he got some money, and now he thinks he's the smartest guy in the room. Look, talk about a dumbass. Yeah, he don't even know that uh, Korea wasn't part of China. Hey, you like that shit? You know, kind of pissed the South Koreans off. No, we weren't never part of China. They have to explain Cheeto breath there. To, that History isn't just what comes up in his mind. There's books that have shit written down on it. You ought to try read one there, Donald. Learn something. No, but it runs all through there. They don't give a shit. They don't give a shit about anything else but their agenda. Oh, Jeff Sessions, he's getting ready, baby. That pot, it's coming. It's coming. So all y'all enjoyed yesterday. I hope you enjoyed it real good. Cause that's his. Oh, Jeff, he's going to. He got a little trouble there because he don't know Hawaii's a state. Oh, he said something about a judge over on some island. Really? Hawaii's just some island? Shit. Sir, like Alabama's just a, what, a dump? I don't know. Is that what you want people to call Alabama? No. You don't got no respect for anybody, Jeff Sessions. He's coming after your pot, and that's all there is to it. I wanted to get to a little thing that was introduced on the 14th of this month by a Democrat up there in Ohio. Introduced House Resolution 2093. Now, this resolution, I doubt if it's going to get all the way through because look who's in charge. But it has to do with the 25th Amendment. The 25th Amendment is the amendment that lays out how a president will be replaced. You know, if he gets assassinated or something happens, you know, who's going to take charge and who's, who, you know, the line of succession. 
and uh, but this this wants to be able to amendment to the fourth section of of uh, the twenty fifth amendment, which has to deal with Congress. If Congress thinks that uh, the president cannot fulfill his duties, you know, because he's an asshole or loses his mind or something like that, Congress can write a letter and hand it up to the Senate and people vote on it and they can remove the president. And the vice president takes over. That would be old Pincy boy. But anyway, this resolution extends that fourth clause in the 25th Amendment to include former presidents and former vice presidents. Now, this is important because who knows better than the guy that's already been in that job if the guy that's in there right now is a total idiot. Well, there's a good indication that this guy is, old Trumpy boy. And uh, so they want to change that, that any living president or any living vice president can write a letter to Congress, and that letter can be voted on and remove the president if they so deem him unfit. So I, I don't have a whole lot of hope for it, but uh, who knows, you know, if, if there's enough Republicans out there that start to notice the fact that he's an idiot and doesn't know squat, well, then maybe they might have a tendency to vote to remove his ass because, really, they would rather have Pence in there. Pence, the good old God-fearing boy, is going to beat you into church on every Sunday. Anyway, that guy. But, uh, you know, I, I, I got high hopes for it, and I was glad it was introduced because I could just see Obama writing a letter, or, or Joe Biden. I could even see W reading, writing a letter, or Carter, because they all know that this guy's an idiot out to destroy this country every step of the way. So, how you like that shirt? Hey, don't blame me. I'm awesome. <laughs> well, some people might debate you on that. This shirt comes from Denise Pickering. She's the girl out in Las Vegas that uh, she she sent stuff before. And uh, we're proud of her. We're, we're real happy with her. She's, uh, she's wrote a little note in there that said, Birds of a feather fly stronger together. That's right, baby, we do. And all of us Democrat birds need to get on the same flap there and go in one direction as a group because we're stronger that way. And that's what we need to get over. But uh, Hillary did a little speech yesterday, and at the end of it she told us, keep going, keep going. And that's our only hope here. We have to keep this going every day, every weekend. I know it eats up time. It eats up a lot of my time coming down here, but it's an important subject. This is important to our country. We know who's up there. Donnie clown face asshole. And we need to get him out before he just destroys a whole lot more of this country. We can't stand him up there. So we need to get him out. And we the only way we can do that is stand together and, and marching in the streets and writing congressmen and senators and making phone calls. I'm going to make a phone call, by the way. Doggone it. I'll do that after a while. Uh, one of my... my friends there sent me a phone number to Mar Largo. So we're going to call Mar Largo and ask about Trump's old taxes there. And uh, we'll get that on tape so we can have some fun with it. But uh, anyway, there's there's a lot going on. Oh, oh, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Chavez, over out in, U out in Utah. That guy. Yeah. The, gonna, gonna, gonna resign or something. And uh, gonna do it pretty, qu pretty quick, I guess. And uh, they ain't saying why. Of course, uh, there's a lot of speculation. You know, could be a, could be a little bit Russian shit. Yeah, that Russian, that Russian shit. Uh, it gets it gets all over everybody. Everybody in this Trump campaign. Everybody in their surrogates out there. They're uh, they're all getting tangled up in the man. It's getting hot here. It's uh, getting all tangled up with them Russians. And uh, we don't know if it's a Russia thing or if it's a, a sex scandal that might come out. We don't know. But all of a sudden, the old boy wants out of town. And he wants out of town quick. And there's got to be a reason for it. And whatever whew, whatever reason it might be, you can bet your butt it's probably going to end in a big explosion of... <laughs> yeah, it's going to end just like that. So we all need to watch that because it's going to be the show for the next few days because this came out of the blue. He was going to be the governor. He was going to be a senator. He was going to be everything. Mr. Benghazi, investigate, investigate, investigate. Oh, wait a minute. Investigate me? Nope, I'm out of here. Yeah, that guy. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with him. So we'll keep a close eye on that. Anyway, tomorrow's Saturday. 
and uh, we enjoy our weekend, so I want to just wish everybody a good weekend, happy weekend. Keep your nose in the news, find out what's happening, keep your eye on that Russia shit, because that's the key, baby, that's the key. All that stuff we talked about yesterday, that's what it all is. All this other stuff is just, look at this, look at that, keep your eye on anything but Russia, and Russia is the key. So, uh, they've been flying them airplanes up there around Alaska, of course. Now, I'm an old Navy man, been up in Alaska, stationed up there for a while. That's been going on for years. I don't think there's anything to worry about. They're just puffing up. They're trying to push old Donald in a little corner there. What are you going to do, Donald? Are you going to support Russia or are you going to go against Russia? Well, Donnie, oh, Putin is really pulling your strings, making you look like an idiot. Well, that's not hard to do. And uh, that's sad. So, Cheeto Benito... Buddy, you're hanging yourself as far as I'm concerned. Every day you're in office tweeting out shit about, oh, it's so irresponsible to put a hundred days. No, you're the one that did it, you moron. You're the one that screamed you were going to do everything, and now you can't do squat. You ain't have a single, not one single legislative victory yet. Nothing has gone through that house. The only thing he's done is with his signature. That's it. Just his executive actions. That's all he's done. He ain't done squat except get that Supreme Court justice, and that had nothing to do with you, Donald. That was the right wing trying to get their man in. Anyway, Denise, thank you again for the shirt, baby. I love it. Y'all remember, she's the one that wants you to join Democrat.org and uh, support AARP for all those old folk that uh, need to have a voice up there because uh, we need to scream loud so he can hear us. Y'all have a good day. Those old people. Sometimes we forget things, but it ain't long before we walk away and we come back. No, oh, yeah, I forgot that. Tomorrow is the big science march up in Washington, D.C. Marches all across the country. And uh, we need to participate in these things. We need to show a strong front out there. Lots of people. And I'm reminding you because Amy Hawanski, Amy Hawanski, if I said that wrong, I'm terribly sorry. She's up in Albany, New York, and she's the one that wrote me a message there to ask me to remind y'all to get out in the street, so we need to do that. And up there in uh, Albany, they got big events going on up there. They're going to have over 40 activity tablets out there that uh, have to deal with everything from science, environmental, industrial, all sorts of stuff that you can find out. They're going to have uh, 110 uh, scientists out there roaming around. You can ask them scientists directly what you want to know about global warming or anything else. And uh, they're going to have music. They're going to have speakers at Albany up there, up in Albany, New York. So if you're in that area, by all means, go up there and, and make your voice heard. And if you see Amy up there, well, tell her we said howdy. And uh, we hope they have a big turnout up there. And I hope we have a big turnout all across the country. Because this is what it's about, baby. This is my way to protest right here. This is the best I can do, I reckon. But I can't get out in the street. So, But it's the ones in the street that encourage me every day to see so many Americans standing up for what's right. And we know what's right. And we always have to remember that. And uh, so get out in the street. Uh, hold up a sign good so I can see it. And Because uh, I like to read them signs. Y'all have a good day. I think I'm going to make this all... Like, share, subscribe. Go to my YouTube channel, uh, Blue Dot in Texas. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. My tra Patreon page. I'm going to put another upload on there later. It's doing pretty good. Uh, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Eventually, everybody will have T-shirts. And uh, for that, I'm thankful. But anyway, the Blue Dots around the country, I appreciate the hell out of you, baby. Blue Dots around the world, Jackie. And uh, Tony over in Europe, I mean over in UK, y'all have a good one. Denise, thank you for the shirt. We'll see y'all later. Take it easy now.